One of the problems with diabetes is that blood sugar accumulates where it shouldn't, and so it tends to gum up the tissues, it tends to interfere with important processes that go on in the body. There are ways to treat diabetes that involve essentially soaking up this blood sugar and reducing the amount that's freely floating around in the body. Um, there's ways to do this through medication. The other way to reduce blood sugar, a very important way, is through exercise. So of all the risk factors for diabetes, and there are many of them, uh, the most common risk factor is being overweight. So one of the things that we teach patients is that they don't necessarily need a gym membership, that they can go for a walk, they can do gardening, they can vacuum, uh, washing dishes is even considered physical activity. So it's not necessarily going to the gym and exercising and working out but it's incorporating physical activity into their lifestyles. Um, one of the other biggest pieces of advice is to add exercise, especially after meals. It's really a great way to help control, and exercise sort of mimics some of the um, pharmaceutical effects that you get from taking drugs. So if we can start adding more exercise in, we do help to control more blood sugar levels and the uptake, which is, is really helpful. They wouldn't call it exercise if it wasn't hard work. Uh, Ultimately, I hear a lot from patients that it's hard to budget the time, it's hard to find the resources to do the exercise. Uh, it's one of those things, though, that is a huge investment in your health. I would invite you to explore physical therapy through resources such as www.apta.org. Uh, that's the website of the American Physical Therapy Association, which is the national body for physical therapists. It's a great opportunity to learn more about physical therapy and how a physical therapist might be able to help your health.